Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we are going to address a suggestion given by our viewer on array formulas, sometimes abbreviated as CSE formulas. So this video is going to be a mix of theory and practical stuff. You can also provide your suggestion for future videos in the comments. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get videos notification. Let's start the video. We will start by learning the building blocks of traditional array formulas. Following are the things you must know about array formulas. So usually, array formulas are not used for very simple calculations. They are used for calculation when you have a lot of data. They generally perform multiple calculation on one or more item in an array. And that's make them different from normal cell formulas. That means, they can either take the form of a single cell formula in which they exist within one cell or a multi cell formula in which the same formula applied across number of cells. In couple of seconds, we are going to understand these two terms with demos. Array formulas are activated so they don't exist by themselves. To enter, edit or delete, you need a key stroke and that key stroke is Control Shift Enter. And finally, when you activate array formulas, you will see that Excel automatically add curly bracket around your formula starting before the equal sign and going all the way to the end of your formula, which indicates that the formula applies to an array. When you work with array formulas, you must obey the following rules. The first is select the range of cells before you enter the formula. Rule number two. Press Ctrl Shift Enter to edit or enter an array formula. Rule number 3 and this is very important. Make sure that your array is not going to change once you have written the formula because you cannot change the content of any individual cell which is part of an array formula. And the last but not the least, you can move or delete an entire array formula but not a piece of it. So now let's jump into Excel and build vertical array constant, horizontal array constant, two dimensional array constant and some other cool stuff. So the first array that we are going to create is horizontal array constant. It creates an array that contain within a single row and are delimited by commas. So let's understand array constant by example. I would like to create an array that will show me the result like 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I would like to achieve this result with the help of an array formula. Remember the delimiter is comma. So rule number 1. Select your range. Now go to your formula bar equals to curly bracket open 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. Remember we are creating horizontal array constant and for horizontal array constant the delimiter is comma curly bracket close and to guide Microsoft Excel that this is going to be an array formula we are going to press Control shift enter rather simply pressing enter key and we got the result now if I want to change this 4 to 5 I simply select the cell press 5 enter and I got an error. Other way to change this 4 to 5 is go to your formula bar, remove 4 and write 5, enter, I again get an error. So again remember the rule, you cannot change individual cell within an array formula. So for that you need to first select your range, now go to your formula, replace 4 by 5 and again to guide Microsoft Excel that this is going to be array formula, Control shift enter, bingo. Now let's create a vertical array constant. That means we are going to create an array that will give us output like this. So select your range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go to your formula bar equals to curly bracket open 1 and 
for vertical array constant. Remember the delimiter is semicolon. Semicolon 2, semicolon 3, semicolon 4, semicolon 5. Curly bracket close and again to guide Microsoft Excel that this is going to be array formula, control shift enter. Bingo. Now we are going to write the two dimension array constant but before that let's understand what is mean by two dimension. So in two dimension I would like to see one and besides one I would like to see hundred then two and I would like to see two hundred then three and I would like to see three hundred. So this is two dimension. So we have three rows and two column. Let's select the cells three rows two column. Then go to your formula bar equals to curly bracket open 1 comma 100. This define a row. For the next row we will use semicolon 2 comma 200. Now for another row semicolon 3 comma 300. Curly bracket close. Control shift enter. Bingo. Now let's use array constant with a function. So right now I have 1, 2, 3. I want to multiply 1 by 100, 2 by 200 and 3 by 300 and I would like to perform this task with the help of array formula. Select the range of cell, go to your formula equals to and we want to multiply 1, 2, 3. So this is the first range that we have. Multiply by curly bracket open 100 now think we will use comma or we will use semicolon right we will use semicolon because we want to move next row semicolon 200 semicolon 300 curly bracket close and to define Microsoft Excel that this is going to be array formula control shift enter bingo we have 100 we have 400 and we have 900 Let's sum up these values for that alter equals to and enter. We got the result of 1400. So up till now we have used array constant in multiple cells and now we are going to use single cell formula and for that we are going to use array constant, name manager and excel function. So step number one, let's create this two array in the name manager. For that go to your formula bar name manager new first array the values of array will be curly bracket open 1 comma 2 comma 3 curly bracket close new write the name of your array second array equals to curly bracket open 100 comma 400 comma 900 curly bracket close and ok close equals to the Excel function that I'm using is sum and I would like to multiply array 1 with array 2. So first array multiply by second array bracket close control shift enter. If you find this tutorial helpful make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.